Alright, here we go. It's a Ruger 5-7. It's a Ruger 5-7. Oh. My. God. It's a Ruger 5-7! It's a Ruger 57. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Therapy Range. Today we've got a Ruger 57 on loan. Thanks to my good buddy. It's a Ruger 57. Local here to me. We got the we got the uh, F F N. Yeah, F N. 57 ammo. It's the a Ruger 57. Got the ballistic blue tips. $50 a box. Let's waste some money today on therapy range. Oh, isn't that a thing of beauty? It shoots. Let's shoot, let's shoot a sandbag and see what kind of penetration this thing gets. You know, the Ruger 5.7 is such a fast chambered, uh, fast caliber of a round, and I apologize for the wind, but uh, like I say, the Ruger 5.7 is such a fast traveling round that it's really good at getting good penetration. So I'm gonna go up here and turn the other camera on. We got a replacement GoPro to, uh, yeah, that's a story. Go watch the last video and you'll see what happened to the GoPro. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell. Check out the affiliate links. While this entertainment may be free for you, it is most certainly not free for me. Doing those things helps me, which helps the channel, which allows me to move and grow forward. 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 All right, now, so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a couple of rounds on this sandbag and see if it makes it through. If it makes it through, we might hear a ding. If it gets hung up in the sandbag, then it, it most certainly didn't get through. Um, I, I'm just curious. I've never done this before. Never had one of these guns before. I know that the sandbag stopped everything that I've thrown at them so far, so I expect it to stop this too. But let's see. Alright, I'm gonna go check this out. No joy. Okay, 5.7 sandbag stops at 2. Totally expected that. Not to be surprised. That skillet right there, it's already got a few holes in it, but let's put a couple more. That's a lock back. Weapon functions great. Lots of holes in that cast iron skillet. Yeah, I don't, I can't say I really care for the gun because of how big it is. I would say that this gun would be a nightmare to try to make a Kydex holster for because of all the notches and knobs and uh, cut-ins, things that you would have to do to uh, block out to make this gun work in a holster. I don't know if it would be something that I would be interested in carrying, but it functions good and uh, it's got some zip to those little bitty bullets. I've got something else that we're gonna shoot. I'm gonna grab another magazine. All right, guys, so a while back, I was uh, provided with a box of Dr. Fauci bobblehead dolls that was provided to me by one of the Therapy Range clients. They donated it to us as a fun and entertaining target. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a disclaimer out there now to any of the federal agents that are more than likely watching. Ah, hi, guys, I hope you're enjoying your therapy. But uh, this is all in fun and entertainment. While I do not like Dr. Fauci and I don't think his politics are all that great, I don't want to see no harm come to him. So I'm just putting that out there. You know, uh, this is all just in fun for entertainment. No, please, Karen, don't get your panties in a wad. But really aim their bullets at Tony Fauci. Well, people could recognize there's a person there, there's a face, there's a vice. 
you can recognize, you see them on television, so it's easy to criticize. But they're really criticizing science because I represent science. All right, well, I do believe it is therapy time, which means it's time to shut up and shoot. Dr. Fauci, please just stare at the flowers, sir. Just stare at the flowers, Dr. Fauci. Just stare at the flowers. All right. <laughs> Those five sevens got some zip on them now, I tell you what. <laughs> you want to see the carnage? There's a Fauci that survived. Uh, looks like we got two. Oh, there went the GoPro. The GoPro just took it. The wind is blowing pretty strong out here today. But all right. So two of the seven Fauci survived. About what I expected. Uh, it, it, it pretty much, I don't think the bullet made it further than like maybe the third one, but the, the impact driving them all back in together busted them up pretty good, uh, knocked their heads off, broke them off the stands, but I don't really see anything of the first couple, let's see, there's uh, one body, two bodies, three bodies, four bodies, five bodies, six bodies, so all seven bodies are here. I'm gonna stop the camera and see if I can see what's going on and find us, find us a Fauci. Fauci down, Fauci down. <laughs> all right, so that was a lot of fun. Fauci came back and bit me though. Fauci's revenge, he got me. <laughs> Who got the last laugh? I got me a nice little cut. Uh, so what I had, I actually had eight of the Dr. Fauci dolls. And the first one disintegrated, flying back and cutting me a couple of times. Got me there. Got me on the hand. Not a big deal. I'm okay. But it just goes to show that you've got to be careful when you're out here doing this. This shit can be dangerous. Um, don't take it for granted. It is what it is. And uh, remember, safety first, kids. I'm a professional. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. But uh, yeah, so I guess uh, it only took one Dr. Fauci doll to stop the 5.7. It exploded it and then just slammed everything around and broke the other dolls up. But what I do have is motorcycles going by the house, but the dogs haven't barked today. For everyone that's been complaining about the dogs, I haven't heard the dogs yet today. So that's cool. But uh I've got a bunch of Fauci heads up here, so we've got another video to do with these. Wink, wink, nod, nod. But uh, not at point blank with sharp ceramic objects anymore. That hurt. We shouldn't do that. That wasn't very smart. Won't be doing that again. I'm glad I had glasses on. But uh, yeah, so I've got, that's all I've got for you today. The Ruger 5.7, it's a fun gun to play with on the range, but I don't know how practical it would be as a carry gun. Uh, the rounds zip super fast. Not a lot of meat on the bones though, so it's gonna penetrate great if that's what you're looking for. If you need a, if you're looking for a weapon for great penetration, <laughs> the Ruger 5.7 is a great way to go. If you're looking for a concealed carry weapon, not as much. Um, but that's what I've got for you guys today. The boat weather's turning back bad again, so it might be a few days before I can get back out on the range. So in the meantime, live your life to the fullest because anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. Stay free, America. I got to go run these chickens back in the coop. Bastards are all over the place. I'll see you real soon.